Hi everyone, this is Danielle and um, I'm a peer and a member of MDO and um, for the spring fling I wanted to do a craft and um, the craft that I'm going to make today is a pot for plants. I took this pot at Dollarama. It was $3.75 Canadian. And this one is because I can actually paint on it. It's a little bit in the same uh, consistency as the terracotta plant pot, but the terracotta is a lot more expensive because you have the pot plant and then you have the underneath um, little saucer. So together it comes up to maybe $8. This one doesn't have holes. So uh, it would you would have to put another plant inside of it um, that has holes or whatever plant you're using and whatever it needs. So I looked on line and I wanted to find something really easy to make and uh, I'm gonna try to make this it's really cute and I think it will be easy for me to make it and easy for you to reproduce it also I um, I might stop at certain points um, I might stop at certain points and I might uh, come back depending on um, if I need to uh, dry the paint and um, I don't want to take up too much of your time. However, I will try to make this in one shot. I haven't done it yet, this specific one. I've done other ones, but my goal is to make it in one sitting so that it's easy, fun, and uh, instant gratification, something that's uh, that I'll be able to feel satisfied right away. So I have prepared a few things before sitting down. I have a glass of water. I have um, black, the paint black. I have some, uh, uh, they call it vintage white. It's like a beige color. I have white. I have red. And I also have pink because I'm not sure what color I want to do the tongue. It'll depend on if I, I want to put a ribbon around it and uh, I'm going to match the ribbon to the color of the tongue. So if I put the red one, I'll put a red tongue. If I put uh, my peachy one, I'm going to put a more pinkish tongue. I haven't decided. It'll, it'll depend on how I feel. And how it looks so to start you know what I forgot a plate uh, to put the colors on but you know what that doesn't matter I'm gonna use the paper so uh, to start I'm gonna put the base color uh, of beige all over um, this is actually easy to paint on um, I've done some other ones and one coat can actually i think look pretty good um depending on what you want but uh i'm gonna do one coat today so that it's a again a quick easy instant gratification and uh, pleased with the results and uh, i'm gonna put a stop to this i'm gonna oh the paint is coming out i'm gonna put a stop. actually okay no, i don't need to put a stop to this Okay, so I have paint out. So I have different uh, sizes of uh, paint brushes. Um, I take out a few sizes, like the big one will be to do the big contour. And um, for the, uh, the eyes and the mouth, it, it'll really depend on, on what I, I like, uh, what I feel like or what I think I need. I really like using this one. It has a little... Um, I don't know what it's it's called, but I like using this one here a lot. Um, this one is good for, for lines, and uh, this one is good for little details. Um, so I'll, I'll put a pause 
and uh, I'm gonna do the base coat. And again, my goal is to make this quick, so I'm gonna do just one base coat. I'll see you soon. Hi, hi, I'm back. So I did, okay, I have to say, I did one coat, but there were some spots that I thought didn't look very good, so I did a mild uh, spot check. That's all I did. And to accelerate the drying, I used, uh, I have a little uh, air dryer that I use and it really helps to dry um, my work really quickly. If not, um, if you wanna let it dry by air, um, I just recommend using maybe a small um, layer and letting it dry before adding another layer. And um, it shouldn't take that long. I'm not sure exactly how long it would take, but um, it shouldn't take, like I say, half an hour for it to dry completely. So now I want to draw. So um, really there's no right or wrong way to draw this mouth. It's um, just, just draw. Um, uh, is it straight? Is it straight? Yeah, straight, straight, straight. So I drew a mouth. And then I draw an eye. So the eye, the center of the eye in the image. So the center of the eye is, is at the corner of the mouth. So, um, and it's a little bit on an angle. So I'm gonna uh, put the eye like this. Actually, I think I'm gonna, I look at it on the image and I think I'm gonna put it a bit bigger. So, yeah, that looks good. And then, um, uh, the other one is a, is a wink. So the wink, so what I do is, so I do the, the corner of the mouth and it's about the same, it's the same height as the bottom of the other eye. See, so that's how I'm gonna um, figure out the dimension of the wick and the positioning of the wick. Oh, see, I'm going to put it up a little bit higher. I know this looks like lots of lines, but, um, and the eye, the wink goes up as high as the eye. So, see the eye, the height of the eye, the wink goes up as high as the eye. So actually, I think I'm going to bring it up even higher. So I'm going to put, I brought it up even higher. So I think that's, that's pretty much it. Do you think my mouth is too big? Maybe a little bit, eh? Oh, who cares? Who cares? I think it's going to look cute when it's all done. So I'm going to pause it now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, paint inside of this and make the line but I'll come back and um, I can erase these lines with an eraser I'll come back and show you I sh really I think I'll be gone maybe seven minutes at most thanks I'll be back bye hello it's me again so um I was able to paint the eyes and the mouth. Um, you know what's really great about acrylic paint is that it's very forgiving. So even if you make mistakes outside of the line, you just have to, well, I went back over with the beige to give it a little bit more dimension. So this is what it looks like. Um, I wanted to share with you a, a, another thing. So 
now I want to put some white in the eyes to give it uh, to show where the reflection is coming. And um, I took some painting courses a really, really, really long time ago. And I learned a lot of things then. And one of the things is that you never shake the paint container like this. Um, she said, the instructor said it, it makes, it gives it a lot of uh, air bubbles. So uh, she said always to shake the paint like this. And when you store the paint, you store it lying down or, um, sorry, I'm trying to remember because I'd never stored it lying down back then. You know what? I don't know. I don't remember that part. But anyways, so to shake the paint, it's like this. Okay, um, now I'm gonna do the eyes. So to do the eyes, uh, it's, well, it's relatively simple. Um, I usually take an object to paint the eyes. And um, I have a, a syringe here. Um, I give my guinea pigs um, medication and um, this is one of the syringes I use so I'm going to use the tip here um, you can use um, the tip of a paintbrush um, anything you can find or you can just do a little circle by hand so I'm dapping it, dapping it into the water into the paint and like taking a little bit off so so I have enough, but not too much. And um, I'm going to dab it. Just like that. I like that one. And then to, I'll do another one. Um, this one I'll use the end of my paintbrush. Sorry, I must be something weird here. Okay. Anyways, uh, the end of my paintbrush. So I'm putting some paint on my paintbrush. Enough, but anyways, you can try it out and see what uh, what works for you. And then, whoop, there you go. Another little dot. And now I'm going to do the mouth. So the mouth is, I'm going to do, make it red, the tongue red. And for that, I'm going to paint it white underneath uh, before painting the actual red. Um, so the, the tongue is at the bottom of the mouth. I'm gonna make this shape, give it a shape. Yeah, not too sure I like that one. So I don't really like this shape. Um, and this is why I like acrylic paint. So I just take another paint that's paintbrush that's clean and I just scribble over it. This is live, as you can see, and I can, I just sort of clean it up. But this is a, the base has to be really well dried. And that's why I like the hair dryer so much. Okay, not too strong, not too hard because you're gonna take off the paint. So let's try again. See, my paintbrush was too too much water. It's hard. Sometimes it's hard to figure out. Too much water, not enough water. It's a trial and error. And you can't get too picky on little details. I know that's hard. I know I like details. But on this project, I chose it specifically 
for it to be not focused on the details. I'm looking at it in the to see the if it's centered. Taking some off, I'm shaping it. I'll get there. I'm letting this go so you can sort of see. So, hair dryer. Mm -hmm. Hair dryer. I said it's very forgiving so that it has sort of went over the lines a little bit so I'm just gonna go take my beige I'm just gonna take my beige and outline it here because I I cleaned it and the some of the black went onto the surface of the face. So I'm just polishing up by applying a little bit of beige to um, re uh, reestablish the contrast, I'll say, between the colors. Okay, so now i put a little base of white now i'm going to cover it with red and for that i will turn off the camera just not to bore you hello and i'm back so i did my mouth i had to use a uh, two um uh, layers of paint to do my mouth but i want to clean up the inside of the mouth a little bit um, because some white got on it. So I'm going to um, take my brush again, um, pat it, not too much, uh, not too little, and I'm going to just repaint the inside of my mouth. It's because I've used like little globs of of paint it's not like really smooth um, I don't care um, about that if you do you might want to use more um, multiple layers of small amounts of paint rather than me I just blob it on I mean it's not super heavy but it's not oh true 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 so you see I was painting here and I had some on my um, pinky and it it did a drop here so I'll just clean that out um, soon so, pretty good if you notice the tongue is not completely uh, like there's not lines like a mountain 
it's a little bit curved in inside because the mouth yeah is a, a little bit curved um, so in case you um, uh, wanted to reproduce this for a reel and and then so I'm going to go back with some beige oops Just put beige right over it. I might have taught you at the beginning to shake the container. It's so easy just to shake the container, especially in this case where there's not a lot of paint. I try to shake the paint to the bottom. And there you go, all done. You can add more details if you want, of course. And um, I wanted to add a scarf, a headband. I don't stick it, I don't put any glue or anything. I just wrap it around. I don't want it in my eye. Ta da! A headband or no headband. You can take this, the, the little ends here out in whatever, whatever you want. You can dress it up however you want. I hope you really enjoyed doing this. I certainly enjoyed doing it with you. And, um, this will be on uh, the YouTube channel, so if you want to do it again and uh, follow the instructions, I invite you to do so. So happy springtime, everyone at MDO, and um, have a wonderful evening. Bye.